Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Tales of Rise. Um, so I finally cleared this section and yeah, it was another really, really tough one. Um, and weirdly enough, I'd only just figured out what this is. So this is like an icon that's like where I am there. It's, it's my last save. And it's, it's taken till the end of the game to figure out because that's where I saved when I finished the last video. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm at the exit. But yeah, a lot of big monsters. Uh, the same that I've already fought, but just every room was one, as opposed to, you know, once per dungeon. Uh, of course, we're going to have another fight on the, on the elevator, which is probably going to be loads. Yeah, the airborne ones are annoying. They do want to stand still. I am, I am assuming the end is near. Um, I can see how the others, well, I thought it might end. Like once we defeat the fifth lord, I can see how that could lead on to something else. But this does seem like it's the end now. But you watch, I mean, this is a JRPG, so <laughs> I could be halfway through. For, like about 40 hours in, halfway through. Sounds about right. Another incantation ruin. So much for sitting this fight out. That wouldn't be a Yeah, more just spawn every single time. Annoying. I haven't actually looked at their skills in a while. Oh, another one of these. It's all just air ones now. I guess it makes sense because they're flying down from the, where, the top, wherever we're going. It's weird, I've just lost Wi-Fi connection. My, my internet, even though we've got really, really good internet here, the last few days has been really not great. I'm thinking about to use it the reader. <coughs> like when I've been uploading new videos, normally it takes about a half hour, but they've been taking about an hour and a half per one, which is uh, really quite frustrating. But anyway, first world problems. <laughs> I remember dialogue, so I can't really complain, can I? Let's take us all the way up to five on the uh, streak. Oh, I feel like any any entrance now we're going to be going into like another boss fight.
Mm -hmm. I'll do all of this floor um, on camera. It's called Astral Hatred and Astral Fury. I think that's quite cool. They're literally like the embodiment of those emotions. With big maces. They should do. These do take a lot of damage. Rending you apart. Take this. I'll heal you all. I can carve through armor. Raining slash. I can't go forever. Blow away. I feel like you. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Ten of us. Awesome. I haven't just seen what level we are in a while either. I remember to look at it after this one. Oh, this one's nearly down. There we go, then we can just focus on the other one. Which hopefully, yeah, half health. I was going to say hopefully it's um, already taken a fair amount of damage. That's all of us unleash. Ow. I can carve through all the array. I'll tear you apart. What's this? A scream, baby. Oh, this last half is taking fucking ages. Excuse my language. I try not to swear on these videos, but hey, hey. There we go. Remember to tell me if you need healing. I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. Is that where we've got to go? Oh, there's a ladder up there as well. Oh, that's where we've got to go. Huh. I'll go this way and go up the ladder because where we've got to go is on the same level as where we are. So, I'm guessing. Oh, nice. We've actually got a core to empty. I don't know one of these nagers. <laughs> Back away a bit. Use an item. Nice. I love the little conversations they have during the fight. Maybe there. There we go. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. We can really make weapons with this. 
Oh, I lost my streak, annoyingly. That's all right. We've got a lot of equipment from here, um, from this area, so. Although if this, if this is the final bit, then, you know, maybe it's not worth um, upgrading equipment and stuff like that. I've been thinking if it is the final bit, if I'll um, go back and do all the side quests, I'll probably, um, I probably won't do them on camera, to be completely honest, because that will probably double <laughs> the uh, playlist. Um, all right, let's see here first. All right, so that goes to there. Okay, so I don't think this is the way I want to go just yet. Oh, man. I'm going to avoid these because I have literally just fought them. Well, I think it's just that flying one here. Let's see what's here first. Oh yeah, there you go. This is the one I should have gone down. I have a bad feeling about this. Does it, blind freak? Why can't they just sit still? See, I can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Why'd you humans? I'm ready. Get toasty. Burn strike. Right. I'm just punching bullets down at them. Only in uh, Japanese animation. I do like doing that move because you just stay still and a lot of the time you avoid other damage because you're not on the ground. This doesn't do that much damage but if you get a lot in then obviously it does. Sweet. How much longer will our healing arts last? I wonder if there's a place where we can cook as well. Right, just don't have enough of that. Um, <clears throat> if I get to another travel point, I might see if I can travel somewhere um, and buy more. basically just the CP ones really I'm interested in, although I might have to start using the health ones so that they're not using CP on healing, maybe. Right, let's skip this again. So, this is just three rooms, so yeah, I'll, I'll do all this on camera as well. Let's see if I can get this whole fight together. Oh, yeah, there we go. I didn't know if because they were quite far apart, <clears throat> if I wouldn't get them all in. That was annoying. I was staggering all the time while he was down. But yeah, so let's start using some items for healing. Uh, Even a 
that his limit. No, he was so great. Did it do it? I think so. So you clamor for my true power? Ignite! Staggered again. I couldn't make it in time. I'll bring you back from Death's Abyss. From beyond. I'm not doing very well with the healing, am I? It's, it's hard to manage it as well as because the combat's so quick. But they're really good at healing. I'll just have to do it when I can. I think it just broke his core. It jumped in and I broke his core and I moved out what he's doing. Awesome. Yeah, see, I, I was going to run off there and do a heal, but I've done it already. I'll do it now, though. Yeah, let it rip with a heal. <laughs> Get rid of some of these ads because they, they're staggering me every time I try and attack the big thing. There we go, and just in time to kill him as well. Awesome. Could not have timed that better. Right. Firearm feels like a part of me now. Have you ever thought of wielding two at once? Would be double the firepower and plenty of style to boot. Right. So let's actually. I'm going to need to use that again because I've got a a map action, and let's heal Dahlim and Law. Uh, yeah, and never so. Him, Alvin. When it's life or death. And then we won't be using tons of CP. Oh wow, lots of uh, mining. Won't be using tons of CP just to heal everyone as soon as we start. two fights and then we'll be out of here this section anyway. Sorry to 
Uh, it's really hard to avoid that. It, change, it seems to change its path to get you. Uh, all my CP's gone. Can't get out of there. I've not seen this in ages. Right, let's do some healing. Gonna have to do CP. I can't keep up with the healing. Now, luckily, we are right at the end of this fight. <clears throat> One more, and then I think we're in that new area. Remember to tell me if you need heal. These ones are not too bad. I want to aim for core there. Then. I don't know what I can do about it. Perhaps now isn't the time. I really don't. Shut him down. Take this. Nice. Oh, darling's down. Oh, she's doing it already. Yeah. I was going to see if I can use an item, but she was already casting. I wonder what would happen if you do that. Like, would that just waste the CP? Right, I'm gonna focus again on these. That's quite tough. I think it's because I'm running so low on CP. I need to, I need to rest. <laughs> I'm pretty worn out. Or somewhere where I can stock up on um. Up? Yeah, I do want to rest up. Somewhere I can stock up on items. Zoogles here are putting up a real fight. I'm guessing we're gonna have. That just goes to show how important this place is. Another fight here. Right, let's uh. Um, I'm going to save it before I uh, head there, just in case this leads to something that I can't deal with. Although I've got items. Nah, it should be fine. Should be fine. I can just use the items in the fight. The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena. But with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? 
so doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. <laughs> After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Rena's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Rinwell, <laughs> you're gonna... <laughs> Rinwell! I guess she's doing it then. There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. What, well, Rena and Dena? Is this fear? Rinwell, Rinwell, are you okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. I think. What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed. He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But, but I know now. I know how the Great Spirit thinks. I know what it wants. How it feels. You gonna tell us? Brenna's Great Spirit. Wants to complete the world. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> the Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted, like just pure fear. Like an animal acting out of instinct. Although, admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Rinwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also... Be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, 
Is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then, well, it's more than a little ironic. I never thought that the thorns the might actually be sentient. Expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion. I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been, there'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. <clears throat> I feel kind of bad now that we're going to kill him. <laughs> Save Sean and all of Denner. That sounds like the final showdown. Um, right, so I'm going to end this video here. When we come back, we'll watch um, whatever that scene is. Um, and then we'll carry on. So, so yeah, we've got to go through here. Yeah, Save Sean and all of Dana. Renner, a world of death. Awesome. Right, so uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a, um, a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.